we talk about aerodynamics being the, the, the understanding of how air interacts with an object that is moving through the air or the air moving through the object. Sport like soccer, baseball, what you have is a ball that is moving through the air. And there are forces and resistance that are uh, acting in that object as, as it is moving. So aerodynamics is what causes a ball to spin around when it is pitched by a pitcher, to generate a curve, to, to go faster or slower. So, so uh, aerodynamics is, the, is at the heart of sports and how the balls behave as they are moving. So let's say, let's say for example, the, the World Cup of soccer and all the conversations that was happening about how the ball was behaving or misbehaving. There were many factors that uh, created uh, differences in the ball as it behaved. Two factors of aerodynamics in sport will be altitude and temperature. Both of them have impact on how a ball will behave when it is traveling through air. Altitude uh, influence the density of the air, and density of the air is what creates resistance when, when a ball is moving through. So the World Cup was played at different altitudes. There were different fields at different altitudes. I suspect that that has a significant impact in some of the long balls that we saw when, when somebody kicked and the balls kept going long. The athletes were not properly calibrating their forces as the ball was, was, was traveling. Uh, another factor is the temperature. We have to remember that it was played during the winter season in South Africa. There was higher temperatures, once again, creating perhaps significant different conditions that where the athletes were practicing on. So all that plays a factor on how the balls behave.